Mr. Firth, I want to circle back on some numbers that we discussed in my last round. You told this committee uh, that you and your partner put in about 30 to 40 hours per month over two years uh, and that your take home at the end of, of the whole arrive can process uh, was $2.5 million. Uh, now, um, uh, I, I think your figures understate the reality of how much you made. Your invoices don't line up with your own figures and your figures don't match the Auditor General's. Um, so I, I think the realities are, are understated by your numbers. But even if we take at face value your numbers, so doing that math, say 40 hours uh, over two, per month over two years, leading to 2.5 million take home, uh, that would measure out that you earned about $2,600 per hour. Uh, so, sir, how do you justify to taxpayers that you as a recruiter were effectively billing them at over $2,500 per hour for your involvement in the Arrive Can app? You have to look more about the fact that it's, this is not an hourly, hourly job. I mean, it says 30 to 40. I can be working in the evenings. I can be working in the daytimes. I can be working on the weekends. Like, you must appreciate, like, there's a lot more that goes into just getting a set this is not an hourly job, first of all. And but, but, sir, but I, I, I asked you the numbers, right? I, I just asked you to tell us how many hours, uh, and I did a simple calculation based on your estimates. Uh, so, okay, maybe maybe you, you work on weekends, so you think your weekend rate is $5,000 an hour and your weekly your week time rate is only $1,000 an hour. The point is I just did the math based on your, I think respectfully, lowball numbers, uh, and they come out to $2,600 per hour. Uh, do you think for Canadians that are struggling uh, under the, the burden of, of taxation and, and other challenges that they face in terms of uh, affordability and cost of living, uh, do you think you can really justify to them uh, that you, uh, who was recruiting other people to do IT work, uh, were billing at $2,600 an hour? First of all, I don't, I don't make this decision. The government obviously is valuing what myself and my firms and firms like us do. So I can't comment on what my hourly wages. I can just comment on the fact that we've had 55 contracts prior to these ones at CBSA where the government seen value in everything we do. So right, sir, I, I don't make that decision. I, I, the government I, makes I decision. actually think you make a fair, fair point there. This, this is a question that I should be asking to the government. Uh, if, if, uh, if they're paying you at this rate, uh, wh why are they doing it? And, and these are questions that I think we, we need answers to. Uh, 